planning it, we didn't know how many people would be. We were looking at a thousand. A thousand would have been a success. Yeah. And then, and then you know, the capacity of the thing, and then suddenly the London Marathon, 6,000 runners ran in that. And it was on the telly. And we realised then that, and then suddenly the next day, it was growing even more. And, but nobody's ever seen 12,000 runners. Never been seen before. So when we got to the start line, Johnny Trainer, the late Johnny Trainer, was a fantastic organiser. He he was busy at the start with 12,000 people. Everyone, everyone was looking. Johnny was at the finish. Sorry, Johnny was at the finish. Dave Roberts was at the start. When we were there, looking at, like, what's this? You know, Sea of people. People walking and arriving. And literally, apart from St. James's Park, that the number of people collecting together probably more than St. James Park because of the spectators as well. Oh. oh, let's go and have a look at this. What's happening? What is it that's happening? Because everybody knew it was happening. Yeah. So the numbers, very little idea, till probably a month before. That's right. I mean, we had Dave Roberts managing the start, John Trainer managing the finish, Max Colby managing the course in between, and myself sort of overseeing it. And Brent telling us what to do and good ideas. <laughs> um, but we had no communication with us. Pre mobile phones, pre PCs, uh, pre computer chips on shoes, everything was manual. And we had no means of communicating from the start to the finish 13 miles away. And Max, in order to have some element of communication, had got the oil signals ready from Cadbury to come and create a network. And he marched around all day with a squaddy, with a radio backpack and a 15 foot aerial disappearing into the sky. And everywhere, Max, and another one at halfway, sort of a staging post, and another one at the finish. So every time anybody wanted to communicate, you had to find Max, find his squaddy, and speak in, and all the, the sort of radio uh, messages and blurb to get a message to the end. And Dave Roberts, when the gun had gone and all the runners had cleared off, um, he then was left with the empty motorway full of full of clothing and littles that people had discarded because we hadn't figured that one out. We didn't know that was going to happen. And all he said on the radio phone to John Trainer at the finish was, "Well, I'm finished. They're on the way to you now. Good luck." <laughs> and Johnny didn't know how many were coming. I mean, we knew how many entries we had, but we didn't know how many people were running because we had to count. And I guess if you've never seen that number of people, you couldn't even estimate, could you? Absolutely. Absolutely. You don't think you ever see that number of people. And Johnny Trainer, I remember him telling me the next day, he said, that's because it was being recorded for television, so they were filming it, taking the pictures back to the, take the cameras back to the studio, and then editing it quickly to get put on later that evening. And once we'd seen it on the telly on the first time ever on the, on Look North that night, Johnny Trainer said, if I'd seen those pictures, was coming down the road to me at the finish. I had to go home. <laughs> but the BBC North East, it wasn't on national television the first year. BBC North East were doing their best with their resources to film it. And they were operating exactly the same as us. We didn't know that, but we found out later. They were camera crews everywhere and they weren't linked with dishes and signals or anything. It was all been manually recorded. I don't know on what on you know what sort of material, film or whatever. And they, when they put the highlights out on the Sunday evening for people to watch from the Sunday morning event, they were still editing footage when the first stuff was being played out. They were as hairy as we were. They hadn't didn't know what the hell to expect, and they had miles and miles of tapes or films or whatever of exciting images. Uh, I remember in those days, the two groups on the station, Time Tees and BBC North East were really big rivals, it was very competitive. And one of the first two or three years, the BBC filmed it and they missed the winner coming across the start line, the finish line. They actually missed the shot, or didn't get it back in time. Yeah. And then the next evening, on, on Time Tees, the big competitor, they, they staged a gun, they built a gun in the studio and they took a picture of the gun and they said, just in case you were watching the BBC yesterday, this is what, this is what the finish line gun would look like. This is what you missed. Yeah, that's Man. right, yeah.
but you know Dave Roberts when he was planning the start line and we got the ideas of assembling people according we asked them on their end form to give a predicted time so we put the fastest in the front the slowest in the back and explained in the booklet so you don't get flat when the gun goes if you stand at the front you're not a really good runner which is all was all common sense and we still do the same 40 years later but Dave had no idea that people would come in old track suits and jumpers and things and discard everything on the start line. But he thought when all the runners had gone, he would derig and then hot foot it to the finish and have a beer and watch everybody four hours later. He was still picking up clothing and stuff and didn't know what to do with it because he'd made no plans with it. So there were mountains of discarded clothing in the hard shoulder of the central motorway. And we were trying to make arrangements sort of on Sunday lunchtime to get rid of it before the road could be open. And just utterly chaotic. You things you take for granted now, you know, we have a squad that do that and a vehicle comes and takes everything away. We didn't have any of that. We nearly, kept, we nearly kept the road closed because of a, a clothing store. Mm. Thank mm -hmm. you.